Hey, what's cracking, everybody? Kind of pacing back and forth here, out behind the hotel, and actually right across from Newcore's structural plant. Turn you around here, and that's what I've got to see every night when I get home, every morning when I get ready to go to school. Pretty cool sight to see. Tomorrow, I will be graduating the Northeast Community College Truck Driving Program. You know, it's bittersweet. Really, really is. And I say it like that because of the relationships that are made at school. Sorry, got a car going by. Uh, got another one coming too. Darn cars, messing up everything. Now, the relationships you make with your classmates. It doesn't matter if you're in school, it doesn't matter if you're at work or what you're doing. The relationships that you can form with those above you and those at the same level as you can make or break your experience. I'm very proud to say that my classmates and I have got along just unreal, unrealistically well. Awesome, awesome people. It's really fun to stop and reflect right now, especially the past couple of days when you've had time to think. Look at where you started. Look at where we started and see where we're at now. You never would have guessed the first day when you walked in or when we walked in that we would be where we are right now. Going to the truck stop or going to the student truck driver championships, truck driver rodeo and seeing skill-wise, total skill-wise, how far we are ahead of everybody. It's wonderful. To be able to see everything that has happened. To see the guy that I sat next to on the first day of class, to see that he can back through that serpentine over and over and over again with no problem whatsoever. To see a guy that at the beginning of class showed no interest in anything, being able to go out there and double clutch better than anybody. To hear the life stories of these people. To see why they're doing what they're doing and the hopes and the dreams that they have. And I think in any industry, not just the trucking industry, but any industry, we're always quick to judge. You may criticize someone's decision to do this, that, or whatever. But when you get to sit down and talk to these people, it's pretty astounding to see what their thoughts, hopes, dreams, whatever. You know, we can't tell what the future holds. We can look at everything with golden eyes and hope, hope, hope. I know which company I'm signing with, or not signing with, I know which company I'm going to work for. I have very good feelings about this company. But does that mean I'm going to work for them for my whole career? Who knows? Maybe I'm there for a month and one party or another decides that isn't a good fit. I don't know. You don't know. All you can do is cross your fingers and hope and plan. Plan, plan. Oh, man. But I can look ahead to the future and I can be excited. Excited about everything. Because when I started this first day of class, I was terrified. I was petrified of everything. Darn cars making so much noise. I was petrified. 
I was terrified my first day of school, finding where I needed to go. I was terrified about making friends. Terrified about shifting for the first time. Terrified about backing for the first time. Terrified about every single thing. The first time I went out on the road, everything. I think we were all scared. And to see where we're at now is unreal. To think that it only took six weeks to instill in us the confidence that we could handle these big machines. This is only the beginning of the journey. We're going to go with the trainer. After this, we're going to get on with the company. We're going to go with the trainer. We're going to learn how the company wants things done. We're going to learn how the real professionals out there in the industry do this stuff. Get the real world hands-on training. I can't wait. I am insanely excited. And I can look back and I can thank my instructors. I can thank Ed and I can thank Ryan for everything they've taught me. For all the information they've passed on to me. For helping us do everything. For being able to bunk, bump real docks. Sliding axles to spec. Sliding fifth wheels. Understanding why we're doing all this. Learning how to throw chains. Uh, chains over tires, sorry. Learning how to tarp loads, strap loads, chain loads. Dropping hooks. Learning all your regulations. Learning how to do mechanical stuff. Today we change fuel filters. Learn about oil samples and what to look for when you get the readings back. Learning how to fix various different things in the tractors and trailers. What to look for. How to fabricate certain things that'll help you out on the road. Learning about life on the road. Stuff you should buy to make your life easier and more cost effective. I just... I've been to the other schools. I've seen their facilities. I've talked to their instructors. I've talked to their students. I've seen what they've done. I've seen what their students are doing. Ed and Ryan should be extremely proud that their students seem to be uh, skill-wise, road-ready skill-wise, above and beyond what the other students are. I may be a little bit biased, I guess, being a student of that school, but it's wonderful. I just... <laughs> I'm extremely excited, extremely proud. Proud of my school. Proud of my classmates. Proud of myself. Because I set out to do this and I was petrified. I had all kinds of doubts filling my mind. I had all kinds of fears that I couldn't do it. And look where I am. I'm getting ready to start the next chapter of my life. Of my career. My schoolmates are going to do the same. And if my classmates watch this, if you don't have my number, if you don't have my Facebook, email, what have you, talk to Ed. He's got it. I would love to stay in contact with everybody. Say it along with everybody. I just can't wait. I can't wait. You know, I know that I'm not a very expressive person. I know that I'm not going to sit here and do backflips, but I'm crazy excited. You know, tonight, I'm packing up all my stuff, throwing it in my car, and getting ready to leave. Tomorrow, I take my finals. Get my certificate of completion. Shake hands, say goodbyes, and run back home. I can't wait. I had so much fun in school. I wish there was more time, and there's so much stuff that you would love to work on where you got an instructor staring over you, critiquing your every move. After tomorrow, that's done. 
after tomorrow I go in with the company that I chose or chose me so to speak get in with the trainer and learn their way of doing things learn the real world you know get the real world experience that real world training school trains you to drive a truck company trainer trains you how to put that to use I can't wait to my classmates that may watch this you guys are awesome every single one of you have the skills to get it done I'm very proud to call you classmates I'm very proud to call you friends Ed and Ryan very 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 excited that I was able to have you guys as instructors and I really hope everything works out oh darn car to everybody out there watching this video I know I can only speak for myself doesn't matter where you decide to go to school what you decide to do for a living what company you decide to go with it's always got to be about what's best for you doesn't matter what I think what that guy thinks what that gal thinks it doesn't matter it's about what's best for you so all my classmates nothing but the best of luck to you guys Hope that our paths cross again sometime. I got some ear numbers. I can't wait. To Ed and Ryan, thank you so much for what you've done. I can never thank you enough. And not only did you teach us how to drive a truck, not only did you teach us how to secure loads, but you instilled confidence. Confidence in each and every one of us. can't put a price on that anyway guys I gotta get back inside get a little bit of stuff finished up I thank y'all so much for watching chat at you later